It's that time of the week again, it's time to look at some new games on Steam that might be of interest to you, or someone you know. Let's get to it. First thing we have is new from Gothic. It's called the Gothic Playable Teaser. I saw it come out right this right today. Um, it looks like a Gothic MMO kind of thing. Not really clear, there's no videos right now. It's not showing a lot. There's some animations here. And what they're saying is it's a test. It's uh, maybe we'll make a new Gothic. Uh, I don't know. It's available for any. It's already in your library if you own any Gothic game. So if you do, check it out. I can see some of my friends already have it. This is the Gothic playable teaser. This is not. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. This is something in the middle, something to the side. It's uh, by Draw Distance. I don't know these guys, but it looks like a visual novel in, in the Masquerade in Vampire the Masquerade Fifth Edition, and it might tie into Bloodlines. It might not. Yeah, it kind of looks like a visual novel management theme of game also not a lot known about it but uh, not a lot i can see i can see from uh from this but it's available now so check it out this is death of dungeon the interactive video game it's for it's with eddie marson who apparently plays the storyteller in what is a choose your own adventure kind of book um for me in livingstone it's a it's a game book with some mechanics and some storytelling and some enhancements, but mostly it's you choose your own adventure. But it's with video and with Eddie Marson, so looks cool. Currently in early access. Takenoko is a digital adaptation of a board game, which uh, me and my wife really like. Uh, the idea is that uh, the Emperor of Japan gets a panda from the Emperor of China, so he has to take care of it. He has to raise a garden and take care of the panda and garden it. Yeah, it's a cute board game uh, with cute pandas, and they even have the uh, Chibi's expansion already out. It's a fun game to play with friends. So in this case, I really think the board game version is preferable. But it's here if you want it. Neocab is another interesting one. I'm not really sure if it's a visual novel or a kinetic novel or what what it counts towards. Um, I think it's really close to uh, VA11 Hall A, all those kinds of games. Uh, you play a new cab driver uh, in a new city, trying to find your friend uh, while managing other situations. It looks really good. It looks very good. Not really sure it's my kind of thing, but it's interesting if if I see a playthrough, I'll probably watch it. Friends Beyond Ashes of the Fallen is another mouthful. As you can see, it draws inspiration from a lot of old uh, tactical turn-based role-playing games. And it's what it is. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, isometric tactical turn-based role-playing game, text-based. It's hard to see a lot of what's going on, but from what I could see, it looks very good. It seems to be actually uh, drawing inspiration from D&D a lot. You can see from the spell list. And coming out early access in 2020. It looks very interesting. Uh, so I'll keep a follow on it. And if you want to stay up to date with all my Steam stuff, I have a curator page at bit.ly uh, slash srgamingsteam and you can see all my stuff, all the uh, reviews I leave, all the in informational segments I write about these games I, I see, and as always you can follow me on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. And that's it for me. Thank you for watching. See you next time.